There's little question that we live in an age of technological change, and Gordy Tupper introduces us to a local inventor, or possibly innovator, who wants to make some beautiful music. Inside his small, actually pretty tiny shop on Fort Street, Goldsmith Joey Scarfone plies his trade, one requiring precision and a very deft hand. But Joey has something else on his mind these days, and the few guitars you see on the walls of his shop are a bit of a hint. Joey, who plays in a local band, created a new guitar, a very special guitar. Joey, what's the guitar called? The guitar is called the Dr. Bird. Dr. Bird, why Dr. Bird? Every time you play it, it makes you feel better. I wanted a specific guitar, and you cannot buy a guitar like this in a store. They just don't have them. You can buy a guitar and buy a synth pickup and it's bolted on, uh, but it doesn't look as nice. It's not as aesthetically pleasing. And that might be a bit of an understatement. The Dr. Bird is a piece of art, from its highly lacquered and polished jet black body to its high on the bling scale headstock. This is a plate of 14 karat gold, which I put on and I hand engraved. Um, the reason being, I think it's only a matter of time before manufacturers start making guitars like this. At the moment, it's a one-of-a-kind instrument with many unique aspects. One being it's lightweight, weighs only about five pounds. Now, uh, a little unit like this would set you back what? Well, it would set you back $17,500 plus tax. What? That's really? Right. Now, isn't that expensive for a guitar? It's very expensive. Yeah. It's what is called a boutique guitar. In other words, not the type you're seeing hanging on the walls of Walmart. Joey's guitar design was built by Vancouver luthier Barry Ewart, whose stamp is displayed on the golden headstock next to Joey's. The Dr. Bird Mark II is in construction now and promises to be even a little more exotic and even lighter. And as you might expect, Joey is a guy who has one good job but dreams of another. I have no complaints about my trade, but I, I would honestly say I love music more. Mm -hmm.